Hey guys, it's TechRan here. In today's video, I'm going to teach you how to stream on Twitter slash X with OBS Studio or Streamlabs. Rules are going to be pretty much exactly the same, but you guys didn't know a lot of streamers are actually starting to stream on X, especially like Nick Marks, Tim the Tatman. So I feel like it's going to be starting the trend soon. So I thought I'd teach you guys on how to do it for yourself. So let's get into it. So the first thing you need to do is have access to a Twitter account and get access to Twitter Blue because this is a feature that's only allowed with the premium version. So I would recommend just get Twitter Blue for one month. It's going to cost $11 just to get a feel for how it is. And if you like streaming on Twitter slash X, keep it. If you don't want to, you don't have to ultimately. But once you have access to the premium, what you're going to do is go to your premium icon, go into actually Media Studio. And Media Studio is going to open this whole other tab will allow you to customize your stream. So from here, we're going to go library to producer. And then in producer, what we're going to do is click on create a source because this will give access to a stream key and URL. And for time being, we'll name our source for our video called test stream. And then we want to make sure it's on RTMP. Click our region. I know I'm in Virginia, so I'm going to click uh, US East. And what we're going to do from here, we're going to click create. Once you created it, it will of course give access to a URL and also stream key. So what you want to do with your URL is control C it and copy it. And we can go into our OBS. Then in OBS, you can add into your normal things, which we're going to do here or add in the multi-stream plugin. But if you're multi-streaming, I would recommend just placing it on here. I'll do this later for myself. But for the time being though, what we're going to do is go into our settings. Within our settings, we want to go to stream. And from Twitch, we want to set this to custom and paste that actual URL in our server area. So I'm going to control V this. There we go. We have that. The next thing we want to do is go get a stream key. So we're going to go back to our tab here, click on the stream key area. We're going to copy this. And of course, don't share with anyone. And we're going to take this back to OBS and we're going to post this on in here. And with that, we're good to go start streaming on actually Twitter. So what you want to do from here, if you want to start streaming, all you want to do is click start streaming. And when we're going to start streaming, this is going to send it to actually Twitter to our source, of course. We're going to go back into our actual producer area and go to broadcast. When we're in broadcast, we want to click create a broadcast. And what we're going to do here is actually name our actual broadcast. We call this a uh, test stream for the time being, which is perfectly fine. You can add the category because I know I'm going to be gaming. I want to put this under esports and gaming and then you can select your source. Now, remember, whatever you named your source, you want to select that. So you can see here, I have the test stream. I'm going to select that for myself. It's going to take it a second to load. But once it loads, you can see it's working perfectly fine here, which is awesome. So you can mess with some additional settings, like who do you want to see this? Your audience to be public, private, and also who wants to be in chat. It can be uh, no one, uh, verified users, my subscribers. For me, it's personally, I'm just going to set it to everyone. And then you can allow hearts. So I'll allow that for the time bang. And then you can start immediately or start later. Then there's some additional settings like if you want to encrypt your stream and just recommending coding settings if you want to copy this you can i'm just going to leave this as the same stream coding settings i use for twitch now that it's created our broadcast so what you want to do is start scroll all the way back up and you can see this thing called post so we're going to click on post and what we can do is name our stream something so what this is going to do is going to create like a little tweet for yourself so i'm going to say so you can just name it whatever you want for my time being i'm just going to name this as my tweet but of course if you're actually streaming to twitter professionally you want to name it whatever you want to do so you can put like your twitches in there or your youtube or any tags for what you're planning to do the stream you can do exactly that and once you're good all you have to do is click post now you might not get a notification right off the rip we'll probably do though if you go to your homepage area on twitter you can actually see we're now live on twitter but that is how you start streaming to twitter if you guys did find this video helpful or interesting you know what to do make sure to smash like button and get subscribed to some future tech content i'll see you for now on tech grant out